Hello, Chartmaster friends and family. Today is lesson four, and we're going to do things a little different, but as always, we're going to try to educate you. First off, we're going to start off always got to give an honor to God. We want to thank God for allowing us to have this opportunity. We want to thank him for giving us the resources and blessing us with the days to, to, to carry out the abilities that we have to bring this document, God's Biblical Timeline and Obituary Chart. If it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be at this point. If it wasn't for Jesus, the one who died on the cross for us, and he is the ultimate savior of us all. So, with Jesus involved, we know that we must also include the members who were out front and led us to get to this point. I want to thank Apostle Norman Rowland and Jeanette Makeupson. Those were the two leaders of the forefront runners of this document, Pastor Vans and Dean and Pastor Peggy E. Dean, those are husband and wife, they have contributed the resources to allow me to bring this to the world. And we want to thank God. We want to thank the leadership that I just mentioned, because without them and without God out front, none of this would be possible. So the last lesson was lesson three. We started off from Adam and we ended off on Lamech. Today we're going to continue from Lamech, but we're going to do things a little different, okay? So we want to give an honor to celebrating the life of Marquez LaDante Patterson. And the majority of you may not know who that is, but it is a dear loved one. And I'm going to read a few things. Um, so before I do that, I want to navigate to the last year that we left off, which was 1056 BC from Adam. So let's go ahead and search that. Search 1056 BC. Go to Noah. And here we were. This is where we last left off. Noah is age zero. He begotten here from Lamech at the age of 182. Now we were focused on generations and years, and we were focused on how far a descendant was. But in this case, we're not going to dive into Noah and his descendants just yet, but we want to stop on Lamech, okay? And we want to see he's 182 years old, but we want to jump to the future. In the future, we want to honor Marquez LaDante Patterson with the distance of his lineage from Lamech, from his birth and until his death. But before I do that, I'm going to read something, read some information about this young man. Marquez LaDante Patterson, also known as Mookie, at the young, tender age of 13, had a heart Caesar at home. He was rushed to Franciscan Hospital, Western Hills Campus, where he was pronounced dead at 2.45 p.m. Saturday, November 14th, 1998. He received Christ at an early age and was baptized April 1994 at Corinthian Baptist Church. He attended Midway Elementary School, French, Roll Hill French Academy and Walnut Hills High School. He received his first college scholarship award on May 9th, 1997 in an Ohio State University Young Scholars Program Ceremony in Columbus, Ohio, where he had planned to attend their engineer program and to play college football. His dream was to play for the San Francisco 49ers in the NFL, along with his brother Montez. He was active in the Eastwood Community Council and helped with reading tutorial program. Marquez at his young age was blessed to see 30 states in four countries. He was a part of the French exchange student program and he hosted several France exchange students. 
He studied karate for seven years, receiving his black belt October 1997. He competed in many different states at the AAU State, Regional National Junior Olympic Games, and Hawaii International Levels in this sport. Some of his achievements include one national title, four regional titles, and six state titles, 38 first place gold medals and trophies, nine second place silver medals and trophies, 10 third place bronze medals and trophies. His football career begun with Bridgetown Youth Football Association five years ago, where he formed a strong bond with the nicest people we now call our extended family. This bond helped to set his pace and focus for his future football career. He was currently the fullback tailback for Walnut Hills Junior High School football team. The Eagles, where his football potential started to soar like an eagle, he was named best offensive back for 1997 to 1998 for Walnut Hills Junior High School football team. He was preceded in death by his father, L.K. James Patterson, on March 24, 1997, and Aunt Glenda Nash Rowland, and Uncle Daniel Ricky Brown. He leaves to mourn his death, his loving mother, Mabel Patterson McLean, his brother, Montez D. Patterson, his grandparents, Willie and Wilma Johnson, his godmother, Jeanette Wright Walton, and his godbrother, Willie Walton. Age 13, both of Austin, Texas, six aunts and five uncles, Kimberly McGray, Raymond, Erlene, Schroeder, Terry, Taylor, Powell, John Dean Jr., Vance Dean, Peggy, Michael Dean Sr., Kenny Dean, Erica, Reverend Homer Patterson, Betty, and a host of other relatives and friends. Special friends, Jerry Frittish, Cincy, Jeff Bletcher, South Dakota, Jason Fath, Jacob Nash, Willis Horsley, Whittier Hurd, David Parker, Sarah Super, Amber Shanks, Nicole and Angela, AJ Harrington, Davey Connors, Andrew and Nick Thomas, Rick and Ricky Cornelius, Jim and Jimmy Richmond, Jake Richmond and LT, Larry Johnson of Orlando, Florida. Now keep in mind, he passed away November 14th, 1998. So I had read the obituary from that specific point, which was held Friday, November 20th at 7.30 p.m. So some things may have changed with some of the family members and relatives, but they're all loved. Now, we know that this wonderful young man passed away November 14, 1998. He was born May 31st, 1985. So we're going to go down to 1985 and we're going to search from the specific point, Lamech. We know Lamech will be deceased in that future AD. So we're going to search. Search 1985 AD. Okay, so Marquez Ladante Patterson was born 4,334 years after Lamech was deceased. He was also born 3,979 years after Noah was deceased. So, that is just some relative information and related to this wonderful young man of how you can tie in some pieces. But let's go over the same year, 1985, where this young man was born. And let's see some of the descendants, how far he was. Shem, 3,826 years from that point. Our facts said 3,888 years from that point. Selah. 3,258 years from that point. Let's just skip ahead and go to some other members we haven't really discussed on. We got Nahor, we got Terah, Abraham, Sarah, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and then we also have the flood years, 
the law years, some 14 generational information mathematics to count, some more generational promise information, Matthews 117, which is a whole nother scripture that breaks down some information from generations counted from key specific points in history. The Korean War. He was born 32 years after the Korean War. He was born 3,675 years after Joseph's death. He was born 3,205 years after Moses' death. He was born 3,205 years after Aaron's death. He was born 2,795 years after Samuel's death. He was born 2,795 years after Saul's death. He was born 2,755 years after David's death. He was born 2,729 years after Solomon's death. And we have many other aspects of history. Anything that took place in the year 1985, if you do not see it, you can mentally know that at that specific point, if there was something before that, you can just do the math and difference. But there is lots of ways we can tie all this together. But I want you all to focus on this. So he was born 1985, May 1st. But what about when he passed away? So we can go to 1998 and let's just see the difference. Search 1998 AD. And here we are. This is the year that this wonderful young man passed away. And as you can see, we're still counting the years and distance from the descendants. So we can see that he's relative still because he always will be tied in. He won't be forgotten, especially those that are were close to him and, and dear to their heart. And we want to thank God for giving this young man the life that he did live. And let's keep in mind, the most important thing is generations, okay? So right now, we, we were on Lamech, and Lamech has been deceased 4,347 years when this young man passed away. And he passed away in generation 199.28, okay? So remember, one generation is equivalent to 30 years. You multiply 199 times 30, you're going to get 5,970. And then you have to add 28 to that. That's going to give you 5,998. But the year is 1998 AD. But consider we're counting from the pivoting point when Christ was born, which was the year 4,000 years from creation. So you have to add the 1,998 to that, and that's going to give you the 5,998 years from creation, but it's equivalent to his generation. So 199 generations, point 28, or 199.28 generations later from the creation all the way till 1998, this young man was given, he was blessed. But we can take a look and we can just do some comparisons to see how far this man was still from some of these descendants. And all you have to do is just keep in mind, it's always going to tie in any person that's living or deceased. So also content that's available on these lines. A lot of people don't realize that when you have history, you have to tie in other aspects. So, for example, we'll click on Seth, okay? And we'll look at some of the categories that we have for videos. So, the way you would do that is you would click on any one of these grids, okay? One of these little squares here. And if there's a video available, it'll show the video count and then you'll select the category. So, I'll demonstrate that. We're going to start on the very first column of the chart, creation years, 1998 AD. We'll click on that. And we're going to see, we see total video count 2,116. Okay, now we got to select a category. We have nature, seas, oceans, animals, Amazon rainforest, Loch Ness, mysterious creatures. These are all the things related to creation because God created everything. Without him, it wouldn't be anything. So 
we can just take a look and scroll down and see we also got Senate hearings, we got Tower of Babel, and you know, so you would select one of these categories, okay, and we got the video count, for example, let's click Tower of Babel, and then you're going to select a title from that category, so we have all these titles available, and then let's just say, we say the Tower of Babel, okay, so we'll select the Tower of Babel, and then we'll hit play, and then we'll hit OK. And then it will start playing in the background here, okay? And then we'll pop out our little side panel right here. And then we'll hit fade chart, which is going to dim the background so we can see the background just a little bit longer. And as you can see, it's playing. Now this is a video of someone speaking, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pause there. There's no sound, but we wanna just always consider that it's important. So, we have all this content available to further facilitate the information on any specific line, okay? Um, and we want to thank God for this because without him, it wouldn't be possible. Also, we have, you know, a calculator, okay? We pull up this calculator and I'm going to go ahead and um, resize this. I'm going to shrink it down and I'm going to move this over here. All right, and then, so we have a calculator here, okay? And this calculator, what it is, let me actually change some of the font on here. So I'll come here and, and I will do, I'll just do medium size font, okay? I go back to our calculator and what you can see is we are able to type in any generation based on a specific filter. So if we chose AD, because most people are familiar with that, we'll just choose AD. And for example, we'll take a look, we'll do some math on some of the members that I mentioned and gave honor to. First and foremost, the Lord, he's always out front. But let's take a look at one of the members was Apostle Norman Rowland who contributed and who was one of the reasons why this is available. And he was born in 1945. So if we hit one and we put a nine and we put a four and a five, he was born generation 198.05 or 198.5. Okay, and if we click more, we also can see a comparison from when he was born to any one of the, uh, the, the ancestors coming down from Adam. Let's say Jesus, he was born 1,912 years after Jesus' death. He was born 1,944, excuse me, 1,945 years after Jesus' birth. Let's take a look at another person, okay? Let's go ahead and clear the value here. And then we're gonna look at Jeanette Makeupson, who was also one of the contributors of the reason why this is where it is today. We got, she was born 1944, so we're gonna put one, a nine, and then we're gonna do a four and a four, okay? And then what we're gonna hit, we don't have to press anything else. The information's already there, it's populated. She was born 1,911 years after the death of Christ. She was born 1,944 years after the birth of Christ. Let's take a look at the other person, Pastor Vance and Dean. He was born the year 1960. So we're gonna hit clear here. We're gonna enter one, a nine, a six, and a zero. He was born generation 198.20, also 1,927 years after the death of Christ and 1,960 years after the birth of Christ. And the other person, which is his wife, Pastor Peggy E. Dean, she was born the year 1964. And we're gonna hit clear here. We're gonna put one, a nine, a six, and a four. And you got generation 198.24. And she was born 1,931 years after the death of Christ and 1,964 years after the birth of Christ. We're gonna hit clear. And we got one more person we cannot never ever forget about the person that God allowed to bear a child into this world. And the person we gave an honor to today, service for, was Marquez Latante Patterson. And his mother, Mabel Patterson McLean, she was born the year 1961. So we're going to hit put 1961. She's born generation 198.21. Also, 1,928 years after the death of Christ. Also, 1,961 years after the birth of Christ. We do not forget about her husband, Kevin McLean, who was also born the year 1959. We're gonna hit clear and enter 
1959. And he was born generation 198.19, or you could say 198.19. And he was born 1,926 years after the death of Jesus Christ and 1,959 years after the birth of Jesus Christ. Those are some historical figures and numbers which will never change. And you can tie that to any specific person living today who is going to die today, who's going to live tomorrow, and who lived and already died. We can all tie it back in. So that was the lesson today. And we want to always remind each other that we're only here for a certain amount of time. So we must, we must focus on what we're doing day to day to figure out how we're going to leave a lasting impact and make sure we are making conscious decisions that is going to further develop our families and our future. But we cannot do it without God. So I want to thank God as always. He's the first and he is the last. He's the Alpha and the Omega. And without him, this wouldn't be possible. And we want to remember the members we spoke on in the beginning. Apostle Norman Rowland, Jeanette Makeupson, Pastor Vance, and Dean, Pastor Peggy E. Dean. We want to always remember what we started this conversation for in remembrance and Marquez LaDante Patterson. And always his beautiful mother, Mabel Patterson McLean. And can't forget about her husband, Kevin McLean. We love them all. We love everyone else who we didn't mention. And everybody is important. Everybody has a date. And we can all tie each other back in to the relationship of God's biblical timeline, which is only coming from God's word and officially transcribed in numbers. Lord, we thank you for this. I'm signing out. Take care. I hope you enjoyed it.